Uh, I recommend going to the training area because I want to try new weapons, right? Do I need to swap weapons before I go to the training area? Go up to the training area and see if there's an item box there. Because you might be able to change weapons with that. There should be a place in pause where you can look at weapon controls. There is an item box, so you can change your yeah. gear. And they show you combos and stuff. Okay, let's run through the hunting basics. First, ready your weapon. And well, you were saying the shield, but I don't know if I... Uh, so... It's a hunting knife and a shield. Yeah. Is that the sword and shield option? Because the other's that, a that's lance. That's the sword and shield option. There's a lance, there's the gun lance. Switch axe, charge blade, long sword, great sword. sword. The sword. The um, buster sword is 300. Well, these are 150 in damage. Yeah. Uh, I was using hammer earlier today, because spoilers, I'm still playing Rise. But it, it must be probably one that slows. Well, it doesn't have movement, but that doesn't, it's not, it, it's a lot more, you have to know where the monster's threat range is. So basically, okay. if I you know where they, triangle, triangle, the triangle. Close to the head. so hold R2, triangle, triangle, triangle. Why did your barrel explode? I don't know. So holding our two charges up and attack? I think. Oh, I was I was pulling down L two. Oh, that would do it. That's about to explode. Injuries don't matter. Charging it up. That's level one. I don't know if it's exactly the same charge moves as I know there's different levels of charge. But basically with hammer what you're trying to do is if you know where the monster can attack, you wait for them to attack, and then when you're open they're open. You hit them in the head. And what's really good for it is staggering and stunning them. So what, you, so what you do is stun them, which knocks them down, and then you do a big combo, which does a bunch of damage. The great sword is a powerful yeah, close range weapon. It wasn't letting weapon. me move. Payoff, yeah, it's the great sword. It's slow. This is the slowest weapon in the game. I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> You can do what you want with it, but I don't like the great sword. Which is strange because I like the hammer. There's that. I feel like I'm less likely to charge past the enemy with this. So, yeah. It's going slower. Basically, your goal with great sword is you can charge up your big slash, and while you're charging with triangle, you can press circle. And what that circle attack does is leave you, I don't know if it's invincible to damage or immune to being knocked back. Yeah. But you do that to power through the their attack and then hit them with a giant hit. The Iron Blade was the one you were struggling with? Uh, so Iron Blade is basically just extremely high evasion. So with it, you can dodge most attacks monsters can use. I sort of want to try the gun lance, but it's so weak. It's like, will I be able to shoot and spear things? Okay, so gun lance, I don't know if it's the same. But the gun lance is a so close-range weapon you can also fire shells. Guard with R2, of course, because R2 is just guard for all the guard weapons. Stab, stab, and when you stab. attack, your you have to lower your guard. Oh, I got a, yeah. a blast. And what your plan, game plan is, is you basically hide behind your shield, poking, and when you see an opening, you use your circle, which is your charged up ones. Hold R2 and circle and you'll quick reload, which is reloading all your stuff. There oh, you go. That looks cool. 
And so what that stake oh. does, so if you do guard then circle three times, the third one, the first one will be explosions and the third will be a stake. I want to shoot the barrel. Except for the part where I can't aim. It's an explosion, not a ranged attack. There it goes. Yeah. So if you do two sur explosions, the third will be the stake, which sticks in a monster and does a bit of continual damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's telling me to reload. Yeah. So one, two... And you only get one of those before having to reload. Gotcha. And it says if you want to see how stuff works like that, you attack the pillar in the center. Oh. Yeah. These things. I think that's the thing is I assume. Yeah. Because you have to aim as well with it. Oh, hey, it explodes at the end too. Yeah. There's shrapnel damage. At least that, that's how I assume you're supposed to use this weapon. Yeah. Well, charge. Blade and switch axe, I don't understand. Like, I slightly understand, but I don't for sure. Look at the big shield. So, with this weapon, the charge blade has two forms sword yeah. and axe. When Store you are blocking, file, release it through the axe. And you attack, Ooh, you do a. Spin, spin. Yeah, but when you're charging, or Whoa. when you're blocking and you attack, it drops your guard. And does a big, slow hit, changing your weapon to one that can't block. So basically, if you're expecting to block, try and now. poke out of it, you won't be able to block if you attack while shielding, because you will then be in an attack animation, and stuck in a separate form of the weapon. Oh, goody. So I don't like it. But basically what you're trying to do is charge up those vials you see they gave you 30 of at the start of every mission. Yeah. With elemental damage. How do I charge them? With apparently... Circle? According to the controls? Only during elemental boost. Oh. R2 and O. And triangle. No, that is not at all what it was. Hold on, oh. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Like I said, I don't... Ella triangle is that. And then a slide slide. Oh, that was cool. See, so, you know, I am moving faster than I was with the gun. Oh, yeah. One. But They're both shield ones, so... Yeah, it's by far the fastest blocking weapon. Yeah, it's just such a small shield, it barely... It blocks just as much as the others. Okay. As long as it's like the same amount of blockage... It might be slightly more damage, but when I played the two, I couldn't tell enough well, of a difference. Well, it's versus... The others do more damage. The others do more damage, but the others... You can't attack while blocking. If you're blocking well, and then well, you the attack, you, you drop your block. The ant lance you can, but it's a much slower attack that has much lower range. Yeah. Okay. I just don't want to be poking, poking. So that's fine. Those problems but I'm just explaining to you that if you want to go with a fast doctrine that can shield, so I just want to kill the monsters faster, not risk dying by killing the monsters faster. Because my that was the problem with the twin swords was it was taking forever, and going to a weapon that does even less damage. So you want to do a weapon that more, does more damage, but those weapons come with higher risk. Oh well, yeah, I'll just have to be careful. Yeah, and that's why it's like the answer for want to kill monsters fast, you use the hammer. But if you don't know the monsters' attacks and where their threat areas are. 
then yeah. you're just gonna get hit with nothing to make up for it. They're very oh, I'm not strong. Allowed buff. To use these li- you can yeah. only use it if those if you're using the insect flare. Which is the iron blade, the one I was using before. Yep. Oh, this one? Yeah. What, you have to level it up to use the bugs or No, you can you have one of them equipped. The difference is one is slashing damage, one is bludgeoning. For now. Um. Uh, so what do they do? L2 so is to sense. aim. And basically what you're trying to do is hit the monster's head, body, and legs. For three different buffs. The head changes you to a different attack form, which has higher damage. Okay. The legs make you move faster. Well, and it's attacking the creature yeah. as it goes, right? Yeah, the insect attacks and then you call it back. So currently it has red right now. Yeah. So if you help... Okay, I called it back. It's yeah. now on my arm. Yeah, and now when you attack you have different combos. That's so the combos just look different. Uh, they do more damage and have more hits. Oh, I can do a jump! And that is the best part of the weapon. I can jump! You can jump whenever you I have unlocked jump. I am You'll want to know what's insane? The monsters in this game... Can't? They Well, they can jump, but you know what the other weapons can't do? jump. Yeah. So a lot of the attacks are made with the assumption you the player can't jump can't over them. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm keeping this just because I'm going to jump over. And so what you're trying to do is start with getting all three of your buffs up because the third one makes you immune to roars.